Hi everybody. This is Zephy here from I'm Zephy and I love to scrap. Um, I'm recording this or streaming from Athens in Greece and I say hello. And I'm busy making a Christmas project and I realize I don't have itsy bitsy little embellishments to put on it especially not in a gold and a white so I decided to make some beaded stars and I've made three and a bit and I thought why don't I do them with you so that you can also see them um, I made this the other night and you've all seen these. I've actually showed you how to make these. So um, let's start with the star. Um, the other night I made some, but my wire was too thick, so I couldn't f get it through the bugle bead. I don't think you can see there. Hi, Irene, are you painting the house? That's very good. It's nice to get that done. Um, okay girls, so I suggest you go and get yourself some 28 gauge wire. It's um, just a very fine wire. If you don't have a fine wire, you can use a bit one that's a little bit th thicker, but because the bugle beads are so fine, if the wire is thicker, it can't go into there twice. Because we thread it in once and then when we come back, it needs to go in again then it's more tidy if your wire doesn't fit through the bugle bead then you can pass it around the back of it like I've done this one I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up trust me it didn't go in so it went through the seed bead and then it came out through the outside but it looks a little bit untidy <laughs> oh, Irene it's the best you make do with what you have, Irene. That's my philosophy in life, especially with this economic crisis we have. So, girls, find the stuff you have at home, take it out and use it, okay? It's no need to go and buy new stuff. So that's exactly what I did. I didn't have embellishments, so I thought I'll use what I've got. So you cut about 8 inches of um, wire and you begin. You need a very fine, a very, very fine seed bead. Um, in this case, I'm using a pearl. I've done it with glass beads. You can do it with anything you want. And I'm embellishing uh, the centers with a pearl. This was a string of pearls I bought in the center of Athens for three euros for those. These are from necklaces that I've dismantled. So um, let me see if I... Yeah, I've done it all with pearls, but you could easily put a piece of bling in the center. Okay, so what we do is this, you take your one end, you've got to be careful that your wire doesn't get all jaggedy at the end. You look at your bugle beads and um, just line them up, sometimes some of them are longer than the others and then your, your little petals of your star will look lopsided so just take a quick look at them and can you see I'm like get the ones that are the same height sometimes there's an odd tall one those four over there look like they're good okay so I have them in a little plate and I just turn the one end of my wire I thread it through you need patience, okay? So, and I bend the wire about there so that it stays just there. Then I take my seed, my pearl, or my seed bead, okay, and it's in there. Then I flip the wire around like this. And then I take this wire and put it back into this, the tube. Okay, it's a labor of love, I tell you.
and I, I, I bend this over here I make a little U so that at least this first pearl is sitting in the U so that um, the wires are around it can you see? Beading is completely therapeutic as Irini says. It is very fiddly. Uh, these are the two tools I'm using. It's this pointy little thing and a little pliers to hold the stuff. I've had um, carpal tunnel operations so my thumbs are not very strong. You know this fine work is like a bit of a mission for me but I really needed these and that's why I can't do many at a time because um, my thumbs get tired so um, I do some on the odd occasion okay so you push and you push this be this bugle as far as you can to the bead like that I'm not happy with this tail I've got I'm starting again hold on it's actually difficult to um, do this on camera. I want I want us to have a tail at the back of this first one and I just brought it in too close I didn't have enough of a tail because you want to hold on to it. So let's take take two. I did Creative Chemistry uh, 102 and I laughed so much yesterday because uh, Tim Hulse put all his bloopers up and you know we think oh Tim you know he's great and he is great and you think he just gets it right one two three so I was amazed at how many times they reshot little scenes <laughs> I was actually laughing okay this is what I want you to have so you've got a little bead in here's a little tail that you hold so I make a 90 degree angle there and my next bead is going to come and sit right at the end there and this is what we're going to use to hold on to it if you find that your wire gets very wrinkled you could maybe work with two wires it's up to you you'll find a way you make you know this is the basic idea have a look at it and see how it works for you okay that's in and then I just curl my wire and I bring it back in making sure that my bugle bead my second bugle bead is at the point okay Murphy's law is that this wire won't go in here now there we go okay can you see it's making a loop keep keep your bead close to the other one pull this in and straighten your little seed bead out and pull it in okay so we have two now A little tail still here now for the third one I find that five look better because these these beads are very fine can you see I've got a little what happens is the pliers nicks the end of the wire and then it becomes rough and then it won't go in a second time so I've just snipped off the point so start with the longish wire okay here's our third one The good thing is that whole um, whole bunch of beads came on a string, so I know they all have holes. So I got to persist to get this through. Okay, it's in the second time. Once again, I've got to push my bead right to the end there, to the apex.
then we pull the wire through, okay? Remember this wire is fragile, it's very fine, and if you manipulate wire too much, it snaps. Hello Wheezy, how are you my darling? I often wonder about you Wheezy, are you well? How are your perfect princess doing? I miss your videos Wheezy. I miss you actually. Irini and other viewers, Wheezy was one of the first people I met on the net and she did such a random act of kindness for me. She sent me um, my first Mariposa papers. I almost went crazy. Wheezy, you're too sweet. Okay girls, at this stage we have three little petals. So what I like to do after the third one, I just wind the wire over once, just to keep these in place. Okay, and then I bring them a little bit close together because we are going to get another two petals in here. You should be sleeping. Why? What's the time now? Twelve. It's early in the morning there for you. Did you wake up early? You're so good. I put my alarm clock for early today so I could get some crafting in before I had to do my daily chores, but I did nothing. I went back to sleep. Okay, here's four. This wire is going to be too short. Okay, and then we'll put in five. Here's the fifth one now. Okay, I'll try and keep it flat. Hi, Lenny, how are you? I'm beading again, Eleni. Eleni was at my house the one day when um, we did these. Uh, a friend had come and she had bought some, so we just copied them. Eleni, I'm making stars. I've taken the um, origami box to another height. I can't share it with you right now because it's a surprise for somebody. Just make sure that you've pulled the wire in far enough because you can see one of these uh, was hasty. I'll show you now. And the little pearl is a little bit in the air. I don't know if you'll see. Let me find something to point with. Okay, camera. Can you see this one? That, that one there is not pulled through nicely. Can you see how it's standing a little bit funny? Because I was in a hurry and I never pulled it. Okay. And it's usually, usually the last one. This one is doing it again. There we go. You've got to straighten your bead at the end here. And help the wire, because if the wire um, makes a loop, a complete loop, it won't pull anymore. So you've got to straighten it a bit and help it. Okay, at this stage I have my, my tail. I decide that that's the bottom of my star. I open it up. I bring my wire up. And I pass through a thicker bead or a bit of bling or, you know, whatever I want in the center. And before I tie it, I just make sure that this pearl is sitting completely in the middle. So I have to move it that way a little bit. Can you see? So it goes down. 
and up again it's going to come up and I'm going to flip it underneath the pearl and down again just so that my pearl can sit securely Okay, so what, what you do is you've got your pearl there, I've, I've got it down underneath, up again and around the pearl and down. And then you just take your pliers and um, give it two little whirls. Or you can whirl the whole thing and it can look like one of the wide flowers. But I know I'm going to make a hole in my project and put this in and I want the two wires to open up like a braid. So I'm not going to twirl it a lot over there. <laughs> Eleni, I haven't doodled for a while, but I'm busy doing a project and I need I need these embellishments. So I um, am, I thought I'll just do them live while I'm busy and then I can chat to you too. Okay, so I've got two here ready. Okay, there's my tail which I can hold on to. I'll do another one and then I won't bore you further. And of course you can uh, change this up with whatever color you want. You could even do it with beads instead of the bugle ones. Then you'll have something like I showed you just now. And of course it depends on the size of your beads. If your beads are thicker then maybe you won't get five into the little cluster. You must probably only get four. Okay, you make sure that your your little bugles are right at the bottom at the bottom that they are together. You see in line with each other. And uh, you've got to be gentle because the bugle beads are glass beads. So you, you don't want to break them. Look, you might break one or two until you figure out how hard you can pull. I've, I've shattered a couple. I used to do uh, beading on evening dresses. I've done one or two of my evening dresses that I've beaded. So um, I learned beading with my uh, dress designing teacher. In South Africa. Hello. Hi, Liki. Tikanis. Has Weezy not gone to bed yet? Four thirty in the morning. Oh my goodness! But you know what? That's the best time to create. Weezy, I've also got a grandson now, and we we're getting a second little boo boo as well. So uh, my crafting time is definitely reduced. You should be going to bed, otherwise you're going to be ratty tomorrow morning. Weezy, it was so, so great chatting to you. I often wonder about you. And you know what? I've still got your roses, um, the beautiful roses you made me. I'll show you. Here they are. I've got them in a special tin. <sighs> Look, these are the roses that Weezy sent me, girls. I actually should have put a year. It must have been 2010, 2009. I still treasure them, Weezy. Look at them. They're beautiful. You were my inspiration, Weezy. That one's mine. That's a coffee filter flower. Look. This Weezy is made with die cuts, scallop die cuts. Bless you, Weezy. Oh, that's the best thing that's happened to me for a long time, talking to you. Uh, what are we saying here? Yes, I am. Okay, girls, back to the point. So when we get to three, um, 
can you see that this last one I put in, I was getting excited and talking too much. Come, camera, focus. Focus, sorry. That needs to be pulled in. Okay, I do understand that this work is very, very finicky for the camera to pick up. There we go. I'm happier now. So once we've got three, I just wind it around the first two, between one and two, so that I can start forming my star. And then I can put on th four and five. Can you see my, my end here has become a little bit funny. It's got a little kink in it, so um, I just take it off. And then I, I keep my old uh, Tim Hull scissors for my wires because I have destroyed this one. I tried to cut some flowers that had a very thick piece of wire in it and I, I made a nick in it. So this is now just for wires. Yes, I also see your pictures, Wheezy. It's amazing what the social media is, how it connects people. And how instantly you know everyone's news. I think that's what's so very scary about it is that instantaneously, you know, within seconds, everyone knows your business if you choose for them to know, I suppose. I'm finishing this off, girls. And um, this one looked like it wanted to bounce away, so I've just looped it around once more. You can actually just play it by ear. Just keep keep them together. Okay, now we put in our last little star. Weezy's name is Anita. Hey, Anita. Ah. Oh. Okay, this is the last one. Usually the last one, um, you've got to watch because there's a lot of wires here where it wants to come out and it, it sometimes gets stuck. Because the bead is sitting against all the pile of wires. So, just be patient with this last one. The last one is the most difficult one to get in because your wire is all crumpled and then it comes up against all of these wires here. I'm just straightening it out because there was a kink in it. also helps when you can see, you know, I need to have the thing right under my nose to see. There's no way this wire is going in. I'm going to change the bead. I think it must be very fine. I'm going to put another one in. Maybe that one was just too thin. Okay. Come, Sefi. There we go. Okay, let's try again. Oh, for goodness sake. Here it is. I can't believe that this is being so difficult. You 
You saw what I did. I just cut off the end. There's still a neck here. If there's little necks in it, it won't go through, girls, because um, the, the bugle bead is so fine and there's already a piece of wire in it. So you don't have much space. So it needs to be straight. Okay, now we're talking. Okay, what I did is, I, can you see what I did? I moved it away from the end there. Oops. So what I need to do now is move my bead back in. <laughs> um, yes, it's uh, wheezy. It's a bit tricky because half the family is in South Africa and um, when we do get together it's really very special. Although, once again, we also don't want to put too much on Facebook and so on. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, girls, I need to get this bead back into to the end there. Okay. So I'm going to feed through this wire there. And then I'm going to move the bead right back to where it must be. Can you see that's where it must be? And I'm glad this happened so that you can see what you do if things go wrong. What we're going to do is we're going to loop this into a nice loop like that. Okay, we're going to hold our bugle bead in place, which we want that to be at the core of our little circle. And I'm going to pull the wire through. I hope you saw that. Or did I go off camera? Did you see that last movement? I hope so. Okay. Okay, girls. Uh, that's my doorbell. I'm going to have to log off because it's a courier. And so, I love and leave you. Bye.